There. If you open the hood, I'll tell you when the last time the oil was changed. <laughs> well, not the last time, but the frequency of the maintenance. Yeah. Yeah, well, the last time was on the edit for a couple of thousand miles. Yeah, but you can tell. Needs the Fonzie touch. You can tell by. Oh. Oh. You can kind of sort of tell. Your wife's going to. 80,000 is what she's got on the. What you do is you take off the oil filler cap and you peek inside and it gives you a window. Actually, the oil was very clean, but, uh, so we never bothered. That's why it didn't change. It gives you a little window into the engine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so. See the residue? Yeah, yeah. Had yeah. the oil been changed every 3,000 miles or 5,000 kilometers, it would be spotless. If it was changed every 30,000, <laughs> you could wipe it out with your finger. Mm. Uh, sometimes they don't have, always have that extension. I just bought a BMW, cheap, uh, 03 with 160,000 miles, which uh, is yeah. 250,000 kilometers. And they recommend a 15,000 mile oil change every 25,000 miles because it has a very big sump. Oh, yeah, yeah. And there's sludge inside. Yeah. So this hose here is the one that's seeping in. That's the high pressure hose. Yeah, so I, will. I wouldn't worry about it. Oh, It'll geez. leak forever. <laughs> it's more of the rust on the brake lines. It's something to worry. How's the belt? Yeah, I had a look underneath at those, and they're not too bad. The... Yeah, we've got a serious rust problem here in the northeast. Oh, provision for a second battery. Mm, mm. Interesting. The heavy duty trucks, the diesels. And the um, if you order a camper package, you can get a second battery. Oh yeah. Bought a new drive belt and changed it. And yeah, the idler pulley is not very old either. That's a good thing. Yeah, well, we just bought it, put it, re replaced the. That's the tensioner. That yeah, we replaced tensioner the, idler. Replace that idler. Yep. Just for the sake of it. Not a bad idea for a few dollars. Oh, I mean, it's only about twelve dollars. <laughs> the spring. Well, they're made in China. The spring brakes. Let's check the transmission oil. See what color the. This is a 4L60E transmission. Which yeah, is, that didn't smell like it was burnt, so... Uh, it's not bad. I would have changed it. Never gets changed. Check the color. Eh, it's not no, too bad. It's, it's, you know, it's still got the red uh, yeah. coloring, so... They, sometimes they suffer parts breakage, which oil change won't do anything to prevent, but... I always change it. I'm, I'm fanatical. Everybody knows that that watches my videos. That's why I can drive these trucks in <laughs> '84 halfway across the country. Yeah, not a bad, not a bad truck. So on the video, you're from? Uh, well, my son lives in Noblesville, and I'm from New Zealand. New Zealand, it's down under. Down under. That's right. <laughs> One yeah. day I'll get there. <laughs> One day, I think I was talking to somebody. Was it from Australia? He said everybody lives in the south by Auckland. Oh, that's in New Zealand. That's New Zealand. Everybody lives in the that, south. Well, that's the north. Auckland is in the... Up, up. I actually live two hours north of Auckland. That's the top of New Zealand. So then, it's Australia. Everybody lives down south. He says, just to get off the continent by plane is six hours. Yeah. And then you end up in Indonesia, I think. He was showing me on the map. Now yeah, I forget. In Australia, yeah. Basically, they're all down the... Not Sydney? Yeah, from Sydney down, right, right down Melbourne. Yeah, Canberra, that's what he was Adelaide, telling me. Adelaide, yeah. Right at the bottom of the state, there's a bay, I think. And then yeah, there's Indonesia yeah, to the yeah. north. But to get off the continent to go north is six hours by airplane. Mm. It's a big... It's a big place, Australia. Yep. I better and hit the, the road. The water's still green, so it's obviously been reasonably maintained. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for letting me see no, take a no. tour of your Suburban. It's a dual airbag, so it's a 90, 96 or newer. 97, 98? Uh, it's a, it, it's a 90, 98 or 99. Yeah, got yeah. the dual airbags. We're going to Canada in it, um, Vancouver in it in a week's time. So. Fuel is a buck 25 a litre. Oh, we got shocked. We, took, we, did, we went to, we, we decided we're going to put our feet in all the Great Lakes uh -huh. and go to Niagara. Well, we've, we've done that. But so right that's up. Lake Ontario? Or yeah, Lake? yeah. We, well, we went up through Michigan and Lake Michigan first and that, but I refueled in Canada and got a hell of a shock at the price. Uh huh. Everybody and the did. fuel comes from Canada. Yeah, I know. That's like Via Lac Megantic, where it blows up and kills 50 people. <laughs> Dollar 33 is what I we paid a yeah. liter. Yeah, which is four liters to a quart, so 130, 260, 
five for thirty, five forty a gallon, <laughs> as, as opposed to three fifty here, which people think is expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think someone's waiting for you. Yeah, I oh, wish we can have, have lunch here. But anyhow, it's dearer, dearer in New Zealand. The liter of petrol is uh, rise around the two dollar mark at the moment. So. Wow. Yeah. So everything is being relative. Whoop. I was just going to give you my card. Hang on a second. All right. It's got reasonable tires, so it's. Um... I'm Corvair Wild on YouTube. Oh yeah. Watch yeah. my videos. All right. Yeah. Take care. Oh, all the best. Yeah. <laughs>